Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Back for a new episode of What's in the Poundland Bin? That's right, we haven't done it for a while. It's time to dig down deep and find something that's not a banana skin at the bottom of the bin. Let's see what's there. <laughs> Poundland Bin, how the devil are you? <sighs> yes, I know. Where have I been? Well, it's a long story. <laughs> anyway, are you ready to give me something? <laughs> Plenty time. Okie dokie, are you ready, folks? I've got my fingers ready. Pardon. <laughs> oh, yes, baby, I've missed that. <coughs> Here we go, then. <laughs> Like a millennial falcon going down some weird gullet. Okie dokie, I've got something. Do you know what? It's got a slip cover and it's sealed. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, she's nice. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right. Yes, it has got a slip cover. Uh, Pardon me. Doesn't have a wrapping on it. I thought it had a wrapping on it. Maybe I just whopped the, the whopped. Maybe I just moved the wrapping off it. Okay, so what is it? Oh, it's upside down, but I can see it says the word special features on it. Although he looks familiar. Oh, wrong place, wrong time, wrong car. Paul Walker. Vehicle 19. Oh, yeah, I remember picking this one up. Okay, so fast paced action thriller. Oh, yes, baby. Let's have a bit of Paul Walker, eh? Okie dokie. Let's get it out of the case. Put it in the player. Okie dokie, so I've got the slip cover off. Here we go. Oh, and we got some inside artwork. Very nice. Okie doke. How's the disc looking? Oh, it looks nice and clean. Oh, yes. Right. In the player. And in you go. There we go. Um, What do I normally do now? Oh, yeah. It's him, isn't it? Uh, pardon me. It's B more Yoda. Okay, so we're here with Be More Yoda, and can you believe it? It's actually the last page. It's actually the last page of the book. How long has it taken us to go through Be More Yoda? Probably about five years. But don't worry, don't fret, people. I've got another couple of books. I think we've got Be More Vader, Be More Leia, Be More... Wampa or something like that. I know we've got about three or four other books, so we'll start on another one. But for now, we have Little Master himself. Yes. The greatest teacher, failure is. Oh, yes. Don't be afraid to fail. That's right. Don't be so afraid of making mistakes that you withdraw from everything and fill your days with long walks, fishing and milky, milking strange creatures. Yes, blue stuff out of their tits. Yeah. <laughs> How can you enjoy your idyllic island life when everyone you ever cared for is in danger? <sighs> Action must overrule reflection when the call comes. You might succeed, but it's okay if you fail. You'll never know either way unless you stop worrying and start doing. That is the duty of a master. Do you know what? I'm going to say that in, in Yoda's voice. That is the duty of a master? That's right, yeah. <coughs> God, that's all thrown now. Fantastic, fan bloody fantastic. So there we go. Be more Yoda is done. There'll be no more Yoda. It'll be something else now. It'll be more something. Yeah, be more something. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, let's turn the uh, 
uh, the the camera around, dim the lights, I'll go and get myself a lovely cup of coffee, I think. And let's start with a new episode of What's in the Poundland Bin. We know what's in the Poundland Bin. It's Vehicle 19 with the late, great Paul Walker. Oh, we miss him so much. Right, let's do it. Okay, so here we go then. Hello, DTS HD Master Audio. Nice to see you. Okay, so Vehicle 19, starring Paul Walker. I'm not going to pronounce the director of this because I just can't pronounce the director's name. Okay, um, this was actually an entertaining watch. It was fast paced. There was a, a lot of action, a lot of car chases, gun action. Uh, it basically tells the story of Paul Walker's character, who's a recent parolee in America. And he travels to Johannesburg to meet up with his girlfriend, who I believe works at the, um, the embassy there. Now, unfortunately, there's a bit of a mix up at the car rental place. Yes. He ends up getting a kind of like a minivan instead of a saloon uh, and soon discovers there's actually things in this car that were not meant for him. Now, Paul Walker's character, Michael, discovers a gun, a mobile phone and in the back of the car, what you'd normally find on a Tuesday morning, a kidnapped hostage. <laughs> and this kidnapped victim is vital in bringing down the police chief who's been involved in a lot of police corruption. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the main plot of the story. Now the funny thing is, Paul Walker kind of never really gets out of the car. The film is an hour and 25 minutes. He's literally in this car for an hour and 25 minutes. I think he maybe steps out once. <laughs> So yes, it's uh, it's all about the vehicle. Yeah, so very much like that film with Tom Hardy, it's all about what happens in the car. As I say, there are police chases. There's a lot of tension uh, when Michael takes this car down the back streets of Johannesburg and it's all dirty and gritty. And he comes up against some very dodgy characters, yes. But I thought it was a good paced action film in the vein of The Professional and Taken. And uh, very well acted by Paul Walker. And uh, yeah, just I just had fun with it for an hour and 25 minutes. Um, it's nothing, you know, you're not going to win an Oscar out of it. But it's an entertaining film and that's all that matters. Now, there are some special features on this film, including the making of and the trailer. Um, I might be interested in actually watching the making of. So far as picture and sound quality, as for the picture quality, it is brilliant. Absolutely. It is clean, it is polished, there's no grain. Uh, the close-up shots of Paul Walker's face, you can see every single little paw and every whisker on, on his stubble and his eyelashes. And it's a very impressive Blu-ray quality image for a low-budget film like this. The sound is in DTS HD Master Audio. There's nothing extraordinary about the audio. The dialogue is up front though, so you never have any problem not hearing what anybody's saying. Uh, there's a good use of the surrounds when you get gunshots being fired from police cars behind. Uh, the only thing I'd say is the, the base is a little bit lacking with like any car crashes or the, the, the throttle of the vehicle. And again, you're not going to get much throttle out of this thing. It's a bloody minivan. It's like a, a, a Citroen Picasso or a Renault Megane Scenic. It's not your app Ford Mustang, that sort of thing. Um, but all in all, I thought it was a, a very entertaining film for an hour and 25 minutes. So how would I rate Vehicle 19 on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, well, I'm not going to give it anything silly like 9 or 9.5. Um, because, yes, it is a low-budget film, uh, it is an entertaining film, but it does have a few problems. Uh, there's a few times I was kind of like shouting at the screen because something stupid happened in the background. Uh, and you wouldn't expect that on a normal day. Uh, but uh, overall, um, I think I'll give this five and a half out of ten 
I wish Paul Walker was here to do more films. Okay, so there we have it, Vehicle 19. Uh, now, is this going to go on the shelf or is it going to go in the recycling bin? Let's find out. Yep, putting it on the shelf there. It's an entertaining watch. I could watch it again sometime in the future. It's not boring, it's entertaining. If it kept my attention for the entire run of the film, we're up to the credits. It deserves to stay in the collection. Okay, so there we are. That's another episode of What's in the Poundland Been Done, which made that another one. There hasn't been one for about three bloody months. <laughs> yes, we will keep this going. I'm not going to wait another three months to do another one. So expect another one in the next two weeks. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.